okay, it actually start time for an actual Arthur V-Law. Now, I was supposed to do one like every day, uh, like into the whole damn e-bar, free bar, like literally in on the 29th or whatever. Um, but the first the first day, to be honest with you, I kind of got off of work at eight o'clock in the morning, right? So I, I let my I let my mom my car because something was wrong with her car. So she was going to pick me up, but she was doing a whole lot of stuff before the game got me. So I ended up going home at nine twenty. And then when I got home, I would promote a shower e bar. That ended up going to sleep around two. So what actually I made like a like the fairy tale um review. If you on my art channel right now, you're on my Day Channel Art Show channel. I made like a fairy tale review and then I passed the fuck out. I ain't had a chance to make a damn video, but I did have that promo video, so that is author related, so I actually did something about being an author. Now, actually, I just literally waste a minute as to explain that to you guys. But anyway, people ask me like, "So, Sean, why you made Ebar free? What was you thinking? I mean, you've been se you've been selling a whole lot of paperback books. You've been doing your thing. I mean, people know you around the area. People talk about your book. They just like, man, your book cold as hell, man. Man, I hate Alice, man. She a bitch, man. She's stupid as hell, man. Lady Alice, dog. She bad as fuck, nigga. If I could touch that mocha troll, mocha troll. If I touch that fucking book and and bring her to life out that bitch, I'll smash that hoe. I'm like, damn, man, for real? Like, straight up, man. She bad as fuck, man. You know how to describe women, my nigga. Like, A1, my man. A1. But, here's the thing here. Sure, people bought it. A lot of people bought the paperback. A lot of people supported me when it first came out. I mean, the people were downloading it um, from Kindle. Just like you got you borrow Shh. shit, man. Make sure you order fifty. They coming out. Make sure you order fifty of them. So I just selling them every day. So I walk past. I could put the book on the desk. They walk my desk where I'm at work. Walk past. Damn, what is that? They was going crazy over it. And I seen the fact that I, yes, I can't make money off. I did make money out of off of Ebora actually. And it's to the point where I'm like, damn, this might actually be a hit. A lot of people like it. This being received really well. And hopefully this could continue. Hopefully I can continue this momentum into my next project. You know what I'm saying? For like I could have like this this cold this 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 fan base that actually looking forward to read what I do. I mean that is why I do this. Because this is my passion. I love writing. I really do. I mean, it's important that I can just make it free for people to literally enjoy what the hell I uh, actually do. And not to mention, to, to, in order, you see, when you make something free, it's showing people that you're not all about the money. I mean, realistically, people do, we all need it, but in, in some cases, if you actually make your book free, you open up more opportunity for your actual book and you know and your product because basically here's the thing here if you're a new author and you're not proven nobody gonna unless they like like let's say a close friend a family or lo lore fans on youtube or your social media or whatever they ain't not gonna buy your shit day one they don't know like like a regular person don't know who the fuck you read they just see your advertisement on your book like who the fuck is Deshaun or smith hmm Hmm. Only book he got in Mizuki, Dragon War Value One, 2011, eight, eight um reviews on it. Hmm. Just one book five years ago. He not serious about what he do. So um, why he would decide to read it? Oh look, E Bar. Damn, the summary really look look nice. Huh, nice cover. Huh. Not that many reviews yet. So, do that mean people didn't have been bought e bar? That why you got reviews? The reason why I didn't have a lot of reviews, to be honest with you, is because this thing right here, right? I had like 50 of these. These paperbacks. So, um, I wasn't thinking about selling this shit online, to be honest with you. I was like, <laughs> I was selling this shit in the streets like it crack. And it actually fucking worked. I was just selling it to everybody that actually wanted to actually partake into what I was doing. They was like they was just so happy seeing a black guy doing more than just smoking weed and talking shit. And just wanna fuck 
the baddest bitch. They they got they got tired of that shit, and and they were actually happy that there was one guy that stood off of it. Like he actually tried to do something. Like we actually chased off a greens. He got dreams, dreams. He got ambitions. He got goals. He wanted to do something with his life, and you know he want to leave a legacy. Besides a couple of babies, when he passed away, he had, he got us. He want to show the world exactly what was going on in his head, what he could create. So they actually supported me, and I was so happy that a lot of people actually decided to support me like that. To the point, I'm like, you know what? People supported me, so I let me bring in more people into um, this little soccer called Ebar. So I'm like, you know what? I'll make it free. If I can make it free, more people gonna actually enjoy Ebar. I make it free for like five days. Well, more people come in, I'll get a bigger fan base. And then they gonna tell their friend, more people gonna keep downloading it. And then once it's not free no more, people gonna buy it not free. And that's how you gain a fan base. It's just that I mean, unless you ain't you ain't got it like that, people like like it not gonna actually support you or whatever. But it depends what you do. Like I said, my being a black Arthur uh, suck video. Ugh. I'm going to include that video in the description below. There's going to be literally a link to that and a link to the free e-bar where you can buy e-bar at too. But the thing is, when you write a urban fiction book and you got a nice cover and an actual good summary, to be honest with you, those little things sell like hotcakes. I mean, right now, shit, right now, um, I think when I first saw some e-bar, I think the first month, I like somewhere in a, like like eighty nine um, paperback that I sold, or whatever. To be honest, do I made that shit free? It almost did it, but it it did, it's just missed by a few damn sales. I almost outsold what I made for free in one day, <laughs> and then um, today it's still selling. I mean, people still downloading it, and I'm like, damn, okay. Hopefully it be received real well, cause this is a big ass amount of people that decide to download my book. So I kind of nervous of seeing exactly how people gonna actually receive the story. I mean, those first eleven pages is crazy, but a lot of people like it though. Once they got past that, I mean, some people like that damn shit for some odd reason. People crazy, and you know, I'm like okay, when well, you make something for free and you show people that you're not all about this money. You just want people to actually see what you do, get you know, and, and read your work, and actually enjoy what you do before you can entertain them with the word and the people that you actually create. It actually worth it, and then you'll get a return from that too. Now, sure, I might outsell how much I actually made, but who cares? I mean, long that people got my book, and long people get to enjoy what I created. That's why I really made it free, to be honest with you. I had to make it free because of that. Kind of like, you know, I want more people to actually see Allie's story in e bar Or Allie, Alice, Brent, Cortez, and Sam's story. Because <laughs> damn, I'm focused on a lot of characters in that book. And, that, and you know, it, it's different than your average urban tale. So, a lot of people enjoyed it. A lot of people like it. I'm working on new fans every day to it. So, hopefully you guys... I do got like a good over 1200 of you. Hopefully you guys check out eBar. I mean, it's free. I mean, it's not that hard to click the damn, damn Kindle thing and download something for free. Honestly. But anyway, tell you guys thank. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And finally, last video with this shirt on. I'm done. Damn, it's, it's daytime again outside. Long, long night. Have a good one. Peace out.